what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Now just, just raise your hands, okay? How many, of you <laughs> how many of you say good morning to your partner or spouse? How many of you, like me, roll over to the side of the bed and pick up your phone and check it? <laughs> in that one minute when you're checking your phone, there are 29 million emails sent globally, 4 million Facebook likes, and 300 hours of video uploaded onto YouTube. And we are massive uh, consumers of, of, <laughs> of the internet. We spend 35% of our lives on the internet, which is five and a half hours, and we, half of that time is spent on our phones. So let's face it, we, are, we, we consume tons of data, but the mind-boggling thing is, even as we consume that data, we also create it. So this is true in our personal lives as well as in our professional lives. So HR analytics, or people analytics as it is uh, now known, is when companies try to use data to improve people decisions. So things like who to hire, who to fire, uh, who to promote, how do we engage. All of these uh, are termed under people analytics. And, and this rides on the trend uh, identified by the Harvard Business Review some time ago, and they heralded this as the next management revolution. And it's, surprise, surprise, big data. And there were three fundamental changes that they identified conveniently titled with three Vs. The first V is volume. So the volume of data that we generated in 2017 was more than the previous 5,000 years of human history. Just let that sink in for a moment. Right? And that continues to expand exponentially even in the companies that we work in. The, the crazy thing is we collect all of this data, but really only only half a percent of that data is classified and analyzed, which is a huge upside opportunity for people analytics. The second V is velocity. In the absurdly short time, it takes for me to talk you through this slide, more data has passed through the internet than was stored on the entire web just 10 years ago. PwC, these good people here, <laughs> report that you guys, you good people in the audience, Demand data on any business event within an hour of its occurrence. Nobody has time to wait for annual cycles of performance anymore. The third V is variety. The Internet of Things has truly proliferated in the workplace. Think about uh, near field identification, chips in ID tags, uh, facial recognition, uh, sentiment analysis on social media feeds. But, and this is a big but, 63% of CHROs believe that they use data to make decisions at work. Only 20% of the non-HR colleagues agree. <laughs> so what do we do? So uh, we're all in HR, how, how do we get started, right? And my take is we need to embrace the data and all of it, right? From the most uh, intrusive all the way to the least. And if you look at the most intrusive spectrum, there are these smart ID tags that track things like your location, your movement, your, even your speech. Now, I swear, you can ask my team, I, I don't use this in my company. <laughs> but the technology is there. There's organizational network analysis as well, which essentially runs through all of your email metadata. So uh, your, the, the time that they were sent, the, the pattern of communications, how long these emails were, all to try to optimize communication flow. And one global tech company, actually use these technologies to improve their productivity by 10%. And really, this was just about managing and, and balancing the communication loads internally. If you think about uh, at the least intrusive side of the spectrum, there, you can supercharge the data that you're already collecting. Things like your employee bio data, your performance data, and your survey data. But having a much higher refresh rate on this data gives you much more granular information on how you can do things. Uh, John Deere, the uh, manufacturer of farming equipment, they track employee morale every two weeks in line with their scrum cycles in order to keep their teams agile and responsive. So it's, it's been said by the uh, author who inspired The Matrix that the future is already here. It's just not evenly distributed. So within HR, if we can embrace the three Vs of the big data revolution, we can truly unlock the potential of people analytics. So by all means, go to churches, temples, 
synagogues regularly. Put your trust where your faith demands. But at work, when you have to make a people decision, tell them, bring the data. Thank you.